folks and welcome back to Papa Bear Outdoors. I hope you'll excuse me while I wax nostalgic as I look at this pond. This is our favorite pond of our families when I was growing up as a kid out here in western Kentucky. We called this the Coon Club Pond. This sets behind the Coon Hunters Association where they held their coon dog trials back years ago. And uh, this holds many, many fond memories for me. My dad was on that bank right over there on one fall afternoon and I was fishing a weed bed that was right over in this area over here or maybe right over in there and I hear my dad holler get the net and I came running he was fishing with live shiners and when I dipped up the bass it was eight pounds and three ounces and I got that bass taken care of and and uh, work my way back over to this spot over here and uh, I don't even know if I was able to make a cast yet when he hollered get the net again and I came running back and went to dip the fish and it was bigger than the first one and I had him in the net right as the line broke and he got his tail on the rim of that net and kicked himself out but two eight plus pounders within two minutes of each other and we used to catch catfish out of here big bass lots of bass and it like I said it was our favorite pond of all time and uh, I just saw a fish come up down there by that weed clump. Let's see if we can go get him to bite. So this is the basically the first time I've been to this pond in years. There at one time they had drained this pond to dredge it out and I had been over here once or twice since my young adult years this is the first time that there's been any fish in it. I'm hoping to catch my first bass out of this pond since my childhood. Folks, take time to take your kids and grandkids fishing and instill in them a love for the outdoors. For if we don't raise up children who love the outdoors, I don't know how much longer we may not have, or we may have these resources. fish break the water right in front of that that hump right there coming out into the water right there
glasses on the bed. Dad now lives about 350 miles away from me. And we don't get the chance to go fishing, but maybe once or twice a year. But to come out to this pond and, uh, and walk these banks that I'm so familiar with is such a blessing. I can almost feel him here with me right now. I'm going to have to call him in a little bit and tell him where I'm at. This is the shallow end of the pond. I may try to work my way back a little more in the shallows to see if there's anything laying up in there. But where I want to fish is the levee end, which is a lot deeper over there. So perhaps I'll work my way over there. But I wanted, I saw this fish come up out here. Boy, that wind got over that cast pretty bad there. come up a moment ago. Right there. We had a cold front move in last night and they just may not be in the mood today. We're going to give them a try.
Let's move down the bank just a ways. Like the fish right there at that little point. Jut. Right beyond that, there's a small little cove. That little transition might be a good place to try to hook one. Fishy. Just throw the uh, black and blue Yum Dinger Rig Nico style. See if we can't coax a fish to bite. Thought I'd get bit right up in here. had so much rain this month it got everything all nastied up cast one time right up in the cove here. 